Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the audio signal. To pull three parts of it out and let's break it apart. Frequency, gain, and phase. Signal shown as frequency, right? If we look at an RTA, the signal is shown as a frequency, a series of octave bands that moves up and down in real time. So we got eight notes in each octave band. High resolution rooms, you've got to balance the response. And we're going to do a whole series of videos because here's your room response. And this is our goal here for the frequency response. So you can see the big difference. So we got to knock segments of this and we got to push this up and we got to do a lot of things. Okay, so that's the goal. Gain, introducing more energy into a closed system. A room is a closed system. It's like your circulatory system. I mean, pressure enters and it's contained within the system. There's nowhere for it to go, right? So in rooms, it's going to go through the walls, it's going to go up through the structure, it's going to do a lot of things we don't want it to do in terms of noise transmission. Treatment is going to be a little bit different, you know, because the treatment side of the equation, we got all this low frequency pressure that's going to go through the walls and build up in the room and create low frequency loading modes, higher reverberation times, etc. right? So we got to design a room for a certain pressure range. It's not going to be uh, a room that you can use for everything. You know, you can't record five instruments in a live band with bass and drums in a vocal room. So you got to make sure that you know the limitations of the room. You know how much pressure the room can handle based on the size of the room, the volume of the room, the energy you're going to put into the room, the pressure you're going to use, and the treatment that you have. So lots of variables, okay? Phase, uh, signal from source, speaker, output, you can have phase, you know, from your speakers. Uh, we have some new subwoofers in our studio. They have phase management on them, nice. So you can do some alignment there, you know? You get phase in other things, right? The time signature of reflection, sidewalls, phase there. Distortion is phase. We can think about it as that way, reflections. You've got to consider many variables. That's what the point of all this is. You just got to look at everything. I see so many people talking about, well, let's use this tactic. Let's use that tactic. And then my first response is, why? And they don't know. They heard it. They saw it. Somebody said it to them. Well, okay, so that's one tactic that applies to one issue. We've just shown here, there's just three issues right in the signal. So what you have to do is identify the issue first, identify the problems, develop a strategy to treat those issues, and then, you know, assign the appropriate rates and levels when you're dealing with absorption and the correct frequency response when you're dealing with diffusion. Achieving sound quality, high resolution rooms, I keep saying this over and over and over again because so many of you are 75% down the road and you haven't done anything for the first 50% that's correct. So your outcome is not going to be good. So it's all about achieving sound quality, high resolution, doing a lot of little things, assigning a lot of tactics to solve a lot of issues, but more importantly, doing them in the correct sequence. You can't skip steps. And if you miss them accidentally, you're going to pay for it in the end. Now, that happens. People make mistakes. But here's the thing about acoustics. Those mistakes you may not be able to fix. If you're at step 20 and you skip step 3 and 4, step 20 isn't going to work. Can you go back and fill in steps 3 and 4? Sometimes, sometimes not. It's better to do it right from the beginning. I always tell people with noise, measure twice, cut once, the old carpenter adage. You know, you want to be sure. Look at how complicated just these three things, and there's many more, obviously, inside an audio signal. And then you take that signal and put it in a room. You get more issues. Audio, frequency, gain, and phase. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. 
We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.